I'm like that Columbo guy, me. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. So, over here we have a couple of displays. This one is the display for the moles that's in both tanks in there. Um, this one is the power in both the batteries in there. And um, we have a big button, a big important button. Now, I'm going to increase the atmosphere in here so that we can hear what's going on because as you can see there's actually a speaker here as well why is there a speaker here you ask well I'll show you now when I press this button Five, four, three, two, one. get a countdown to duck there but we can't duck in this um obviously i needed an atmosphere for the speaker to to, to play i've uh, come a little bit with learning about the networks so as long as you've got an um, ic connected to this you can actually go and look through the network and okay let's take a, an empty pin here you can go and look at cargo storage you can go and look at the logic uplink, the avionics. The avionics is the important one. Now, I've seen that there's a thing in the avionics for the location. So I'm assuming that if you know the location here on the map, you could actually plot a course in to the location using IC. But I haven't found anything for the likes of remaining scan type, scans needed or remaining ores in the thing. But there's a few things I haven't seen um, in the Stationpedia. But anyway, I just thought I'd quickly show you that you can do some of that stuff. And I also thought I'd show you the code that I used for just this. Oh yeah, and oh, you probably can't see because it's night time. Uh, let me pop this out quickly. And oh, might as well pop this out quickly. And might as well put that on. And might as well let these guys out. Not only does it give us a little countdown and put a little light on it, which you can colour an LED, for example, to tell you that things are about to kick off it also retracts all umbilical cords which is good for someone like me who's really really forgetful so you can't hit the 54321 at that point because obviously there's no atmosphere so, this is really, really simple code. Anyone who's done any code will, will, will be able to do this. I've only pinned in the displays for the batteries of the moles and the, the important button. You can even do a load batch on them if you wanted. I've load batched the cargo container, the, sorry, the, the fuel containers for the total moles and the batteries for the total charge. And I've just done the total, so that's type one, which is the sum. Uh, then I've saved to the displays the, the, the numbers from that we've saved into the registers. And then I've loaded, in, loaded into R0 the trigger setting, which is basically the setting for the button there. Then that will, if it's equal to zero, then it'll go back into the loop. If it's not equal to zero, it'll go forward. And going forward will yield for a second, then it'll basically open both of the umbilicals that I've got. Now I am going to probably throw in a few more umbilicals onto this so that all of them are there. And then I'll probably put this up on the workshop and the link will probably be in the description. Then it goes, turns on a light. Um, that's just a light. I might put an LED red. Let's do that. I'll do that before I put it on the workshop, just so that you know it's it's a countdown. You could or you could then do all sorts of things. You could go orange, red, and whatever. It's up to you. Then it sets the speaker to five, 
turns it on, sleeps for a second, four, sleeps for a, on, sleeps for a second, three, on, sleeps for a second. And then at the very end, we get the engine firing. So really simple stuff. And this is just batch writing to all of the, to the speaker, batch writing to the speaker, and batch writing to the engine, batch writing to all of the stuff in the tower, all the umbilicals, so that you don't have to keep using pins because we'd run out of pins very, very quickly. Now again, as I said, you could even tr put the trigger on that, which would free up another pin, so you'd have four spare pins. If you use different displays, so you can have a bigger display for the battery or a bigger display for the moles, whichever way around you wanted, again, you wouldn't even need to use pins at all, if you wanted. Now there's also the hash, you could use the hash. I'm not entirely sure exactly how to use them, but you could each even make this pinless. As it is right now, you could even make this pinless. Um, I, I, need, I, I have used hash once, I need to use it a couple of times to remember it. But anyway, yeah, no, this. I hope this addendum helps. I didn't know you could do that, but I still don't know, like, the likes of navigation, the likes of mineables, the likes of, of scannables. Uh, I, I can't find anything anywhere to, to help with that. But at least we've found this. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye for now.